so we get a lot of questions about sports cats um, so the applications are different every time which usually means there's a different answer um, I try and answer a lot of those questions in the product descriptions the kind of common questions we get but with sports cats again there are a lot of variables so the most common thing is we sell decats people want louder more noise more power less restrictive more pops and bangs and the way to go is obviously a decat the problem is it's illegal you can't insure it you can't get it through an MOT and those things become a bit of a chore especially if you've got a car that's over three years old because that means that every year you need to try and get it through an MOT some people uh, you know kind of have more luck with that than others um, you know I can't say as I've ever had a nookie MOT um, but they do exist so one of the questions that we get is I want kind of decat noise and power but I don't want you know sports cats are expensive and you can get some really cheap sports cats and they will probably give you you know decat noise and power but they won't last very long that's the problem um, and then it's will they last long enough to actually get you through an MOT emissions test then you know they're, they're not really going to last a 12 month period the cost effectiveness of that isn't very high so for quite a few years now we've only really used good quality ones ones of a proper brand name that are manufactured for the specific purpose of being a high flow cat so we use um, two or three different brands depending on the actual application because again the loading of the cats different application to application a course of VXR that maybe sees 300 horsepower is very different to an Astra J um, which had two kind of much larger cats from factory um, the, the, the kind of cat requirements are quite different they do need different uh, size of cat as well so there are quite a few differences in different kinds of cats other than just the physical size there's the amount of cells so probably the, the easiest one to talk about the one that we've probably got the most experience with is the Remus exhaust system that's on the Astra HVXR so from factory you could have the Remus exhaust that would be fitted at performance centers whatever they were called back then and then the Astra Nürburgring edition came with that cat uh, came with that Remus uh, system and they originally had a 100 cell cat and the issue was that basically at three years old when the cars were having their first MOT um, most of the cars weren't going through an emissions test so under warranty Vauxhall actually changed them all to a 300 cell cat um, and the more cells the more efficient the cat can be it's there's quite a science to it I'm not going to go into that there's probably a better video we can find to link to to go into the science of how cats work but basically the more cells you've got the more restrictive the cat is and the better it can clean the the gas so kind of the perfect middle ground which is yeah the mo what most people tend to use what most manufacturers tend to use is a 200 cell cat and we do use that on most of our systems apart from the Corsa EVXR where we use a 300 cell cat because again we know that they pretty much pass an MOT emissions test when they're hot every time without any problems again that was a one cat from factory car that had a 600 cell cat so you're still going to get plenty of power out of it it's still a 500 horsepower kind of capable cat and you know it's uh it's still going to provide you with high flow noise pops and bangs things like that but not quite to a decat level and that's why we tend to make most of our um kind of decat pipes sports cat pipes reversible so you can switch them in and out um and, and that is probably one of the better ways to go because if you pay for a sports cat we're always willing to you know include a decat section if we can if you need it as well and that gives you the ability to just switch it in and out we don't warranty any of the sports cats we use and there's quite a few reasons for that we will always warranty the welding obviously but when it comes to the actual efficiency of the cat e.g it passing an MOT emissions test it's very hard to warranty that it's very hard to ever actually guarantee that because there's a lot of factors 
there's the kind of condition of the engine, there's the fuel that's used, there's how it's tested, the temperature it's tested at, the temperature the engine is, the temperature the cat is, there's a lot of variables. There are ways you can get almost any car to pass an MOT emissions test, um, but that's the reason we don't. Some cars will pass, some cars won't ca pass, and it's, it's a very difficult thing to actually try and guarantee to someone, which is why we never will. I'll tell you that it's very likely or very unlikely that it'll pass, but I will never guarantee it actually will. But as long as a sports car is fitted um, for a roadside test, even if it doesn't pass an emissions test, as long as a cat is fitted or a visual cat is fitted, um, you generally, again, depends how, how you read the law, but you generally won't have any problems in terms of a roadside test. If you fail a, um, an MOT test, obviously it just means that you've got to either fit a cat or, or what have you um, to kind of pass that emissions test. What you do with the car after that is up to you. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why also that um, fake cats work on diesels because the emissions are tested differently. Um, you know, with a, with a, as long as something looks like it's there, um, they will pass a test. Oh, my God.